With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello student, in the given question we have been asked why anode has to be replaced from time to time during the electrolysis of alumina. Okay, we need to tell why does we have to remove or we have to replace anode again and again when we electrolyze alumina. Okay, so basically alumina has formula Al2O3. Okay, that is alumina. And its electrolysis, what happened is that during the during the electrolysis of alumina, aluminium is produced as cathode. Aluminium is produced at the cathode. See, there are two an electrodes in electrolysis. One is cathode, one is anode. So at cathode, where reduction occurs, we get aluminum. Okay, so during the electrolysis of alumina, aluminum is produced at the cathode by oxygen gas that is O2 is evolved at the other anode, sorry, other electrode that is known as cathode, sorry, anode. Okay, so while O2 is evolved at anode where oxidation occurs. Now this oxygen reacts with the graphite electrode. Okay, see the anode is made up of graphite and this oxygen gas reacts with graphite electrode to produce CO2. Now, what will happen is that when O2 reacts with this electrode, the electrode will start eroding. This will lead to eroding of electrode. Hence, we need to replace the anode time to time. Okay. That the oxygen produced is continuously reacting with the graphite to produce CO2 gas. Okay, hence we need to change the anode from time to time because it is eroding. Hence, that is the reason behind our portion that we are replacing anode time to time during the electrolysis of alumina. This is because the erode is continuously, the anode is continuously eroding due to oxygen reacting with the graphite of the electrode to produce carbon dioxide gas. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.